guys welcome back Ellery um, I get requested to do this video often and um, I never really kind of wanted to because as you guys may have known or whoever's been following me from day one you know I'm not really a nude lip type of a girl I'm more of like the bold red dark matte all that good stuff but lately lately I have found that nude has just been my thing I've always not been a fan of nude lipsticks just because for me it was something that I had to get comfortable with I don't I never liked nude lipsticks on myself until recently I'm now like kind of lightly addicted so before when I was asked to do this video I really didn't have any options that I really liked that I wanted to share but these past couple of weeks I have been rocking nude lips like all day early so I finally have about five of my favorites that I narrowed it down to that I'm going to share with you guys. These are like my go-to nude lips depending on uh, the look I'm going for. So normally my go-to liner was NYX Cappuccino Liner. I know you guys who follow me know that that was my jam and it got about this big. But usually when I run out of something that's my favorite, I try to go through my makeup and find another favorite as opposed to just buying the same thing over and over so I can, you know, get put on to some new stuff. So as of these last couple of weeks, I've been using this liner by ColourPop called K uh, with all of my nude lip options. It's kind of like cappuccino, but it's a little, little lighter and it's creamier. So it blends well with uh, any of the lipsticks that I put with it. So I use this for almost every lip option, but you can use, you know, your fave, but this is five bucks and it's bomb. So this was also a collaboration pencil with Karuchi, so... Kudos, girl. This is bomb. Other than Ellery, the Ellery liner by ColourPop, which I hope y'all got, these two are my absolute favorites for either a red lip or a nude lip. Ellery liner, K liner, bomb. So for the first nude lip that I'm going to show you, it's just with NYX Praline Lip Gloss. You guys are probably familiar with this. It's one of my all-time favorite nude lip glosses. I wear this all the time. This is probably like my third one this year. I like to wear this by itself, like when I don't have a lot of makeup on or I'm doing a really natural look and I don't want color in my lips. This is like the perfect nude gloss and I just put some foundation lightly over my lips. It's going to manipulate the color just a little bit because you're mixing in your foundation color with the gloss but it still gives you a perfect nude color. Okay, the next new lip I'm going to show you guys is with the K-liner that I just was talking about, the Praline Gloss that I just used, and also this lipstick by Urban Decay. It is called Insanity. Urban Decay had this huge event in New York where they released a hundred of their Vice lipsticks, and this was the first one I put on, and I have not taken it out of my purse yet. So I just put the liner on first, then the lipstick, and pat it over the liner so it doesn't get too light, and then I either leave it like that, or I top it off with the Praline Gloss to give me like a sexy new. This is a great ombre-ish gloss lip that you can rock. I love, love, love this combo. Okay, the next combo I'm going to show you guys is also using the K-liner again. And the lipstick is called No Shade by AJ Crimson. I received this over the weekend at the makeup show pop-up shop in Atlanta and fell in love at first watch. It is literally, literally the same color as my skin. Like, if this was foundation, I could use this all over my face. Which I loved because once you add the liner to like the corners and kind of lightly line your lips, it gives you like the perfect nude 
lip. So the Urban Decay is a little bit more cooler and this one is a little bit more warmer. So depending on the look you're going for or if you prefer warm over cool or cool over warm, this is going to be your warm option. And um, I put it all over first just to show you guys what it looks like by itself. I wore this on Snapchat the other day and hella you guys screenshotted it. So I knew you loved it and I wanted to share it with you. Another new favorite that I've been loving that I also got from the makeup show is this Kevin Aquan lip gloss in the color Sunlight. Oh my god, like it's bomb. It's a sheer bronze lip gloss and it has just the perfect, perfect amount of shimmer. I usually don't like shimmery glosses. I don't like glitter. I don't like all that stuff on my lips. But when I swatched this, it was like, I speechless. So I put a very minimal amount of the liner because I wanted this color to show through. So I put a very small amount and blended it in and put this on top. And girl, you're going to want this. I don't know how much it costs, but it's going to be worth it. This lip gloss is bomb. So I think out of all the ones I'm going to show you, this is going to be the one I rock the most this summer. Once again, it is called Sunlight, and this is what it looks like. Last but not least, you know I have to have a matte lip option. Like, I'm still a matte girl at heart. So, I combined Lime Prime Salem, which has been an all time fave, one of the first of their velveteens that I ever tried, and it's a perfect brown matte lippy. So, I basically used this in place of a liner, just put it on the outside of my lips, and in the middle, I tapped on Reveal Me, one of the Motive Maven's new liquid matte lipsticks. A few tutorials back where I did the mermaid eyes, I think, I used the daddy's girl liquid matte and it is very similar to this one except this one is a little bit warmer so I tapped this on and just blended it with my finger I tried to make the blending really easy because a lot of you guys on well not a lot of you guys but people on Instagram sometimes say that it looks like too much work so I literally just use my finger to blend the colors into each other it's not that difficult and the great thing about matte lipsticks is that they last literally all day like unless you're eating chicken all day you're gonna last all day so even if it is a lot of work it's gonna last you're not gonna have to re really reapply too much maybe in the center so uh, yeah, but you can just use your finger, you can use a lip brush as well, but uh, I just want to show you guys the easiest way to do it. And this is definitely one of my favorite new matte combos right now. So there you go guys, five of my favorite new lip combos. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And if there's any other of my favorite shades, either my favorite red lipsticks, pinks, purples, whatever you guys want to see, anything you want me to swatch, just as long as we can keep it down to like five, um, leave it in the comments and I'll check it out and see if I can get it done. But until then, I love you guys.
Mwah.